Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening the latest uh, from Konami, Ghost from the Past, the Second Haunting. Everyone's been looking forward to this set, looking to see if they can get their hands on the latest Ghost Rares. Uh, Dark Magician Girl obviously being the most sought after. This set seems to have corrected the problem from last year's offering. Uh, ghost Rares are dropping a little bit more frequently, though we're hearing uh, there are cases that have None whatsoever, but there's also some that seem to be dropping three, four total uh, in all. So I've got two display boxes worth here, taking all the packaging off. Um, and we'll just jump into it, see if we can get lucky. You know, we'll take anything from the Aya Timaeus, uh, but everyone wants that Dark Magician Girl reprint. So let's jump in it, see what we get. Uh, I've separated them out by uh, each display case, so we'll see if maybe we're one of the lucky ones that gets at least one ghost rare. Maybe we get, you know, one of those multiple ones and we happen to get the uh, displays from the case that have uh, multiple ones in it. So I'm just gonna start dumping the packs out here and get this part all out of the, the way. So this is display box number one of 20. 20 packs to go through and see if, if we luck out here. So last year we didn't manage to get anything crazy. Good news is at least there's some good reprints here and there. So let's get these sorted out and see where we go. First display, pack one. They're three deep here on this one, so we'll work our way in. And didn't get any of the other good ones. We do have the uh, reprint of a looper in this as well, which is not bad, and Boral and Dragon. It's not a bad pull either, neither uh, Deco Talk or Heat Soul. So, good options all around. A couple good reprints. And, looking like we're not getting one in this pack. Let's see if we. Do this, we pull from the back. Ah, uh, no. We're hoping. Maybe for the surprise factor should do it this way. Just flip these two to the front. Cypher Twin Raptor, Time Hair Attacked. And Mystical Sand. Seeing lots of people get Mystical Sands. Lots and lots of Mystical Sands. And we've been defeated by this pack. Of course, not had a ghost rare before. Oh, Deco Talker. Speaking of, not a bad pull. We'll take it. Set that one aside a little bit. We will take it. Obviously, values have gone down a bit uh, recently uh, from the first days of opening. But still a good pull. Kind of 
Come on. Oh. Not bad. All right. And we are not getting one in that pack. I think we uh still collector's rare that I pulled. Uh, the reinforcements of the army is still the best thing I've ever pulled, but you know, ghost rare. We're looking for it. Gonna have to will it into existence here. In the guineas, at least they're dropping better than what they were. Support for the 10 years. First challenge is I gotta get the pack open though. Despio, Plunder Ship. Uh, and Chimera Tech. Alright, looks like we got about seven or so packs after this. Sanctuary in the Sky, not sure that still gets any play. And striking out. Well, I want to see, want to see your guys' polls. I want to see what, if anyone's got a, anyone's got any ghost rare stories. Let me know which one you pulled. Necro World Banshee is a, Helping out Zombie World for sure. Good, good reprint there. Let me know which ones you've gotten. I've seen a lot of people get Dark Arm Dragon, very common to, to see. Eye of, Eye of Timaeus is obviously the worst. I saw that we have a magic card. Uh, that kind of been. But let me know which ones you've gotten if you managed to get one. You've managed to get the mythical Dark Magician girl. You know, are you keeping it? What are you doing? Are you getting it graded? Let's see. I want to know. I want to know what everyone's plans are for them. We haven't seen a Luber either. We're not, uh, not hitting the big ones yet. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. You know, I'll take it. I have a, not a, not a not a loss there. That's a card I'd like to see. It's not obviously a chase card, but you can't can't hate on any dark magician cards. Oh, come on. All right. All right, we're down to three from the first display. Looking through this. All right, Performer Pals. And Flute of Summoning Karibo. All right, let's see. Roll through this. Oh, we did get a louver. Hey. Hey, makes it up right there. Good pull. Second to last pack. Now this is the final pack of the first display case. And did we get anything? And we did not. So we did not get a, a ghost rare in the first set of displays. We did get Deco, Talker, Heat Soul, and a Looper, so we did get two of the better reprints. Let's go get our second display case here open. Make sure we don't have to take any of that uh, useless cellophane off. A 
appreciate them not putting in those like plastic things and like fastening them down because those things take forever to get open. That's for sure. All right, there we go. Is there a ghost rare in here? We hope so. All right. Let's get this second set going. All right, Ultra Guys, Tabaxia, Galaxy Soldier. Go. Got an Zector. Yeah. Cards are in good condition, though. I think yeah, compared to some of the recent sets, we haven't had uh, as much. Another Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, is a card I do like. In some recent sets have had some, you know, poor prints or poor quality. All right, still working our way through. Rare. Oh, Christian Hack Hackle Philbrex. Hackle Philbrex is a uh, good, uh, probably one of the other good uh, non ghost rares. Probably leaves me with Borland Dragon as the uh, remaining uh, non ghost rare card that's really worth pulling. Rise of the Mega Monarch is not a bad pull. Good reprint there, that was probably needed. All right, Chronicle Magician, Rare Fish, whoo, that is throwback. about halfway through the second display and we still do not have a ghost rare. Let's go. And fossil machine, skull convoy, Montju, mystical shine ball. Mystical Sand, woo! Everyone gets Mystical Sand. Zombie World goes where it's that Necro World Banshee. Alright, Ghost Trick. 
Master Flare Hyperion. Sanctuary in the Sky probably gets replaced by Master Flare Hyperion a little bit. And Shipyard. Dragger, Outburst Dragon. All right, we're down to five packs, five chances. Shell Knight. Alright, these ones, these ones are bent. Is that a good sign? No, it's not. <laughs> Chorus in the Sky and Primal Dragon. There's a weird curve on those ones. Three packs left. Another Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. All right, Heavenly Dragon Circle. Oh, Mardell. All right, I'm down to my last pack, my last chance here. Will we get lucky? Come on. Let's see. Pull from the back. Codex Porter. Insector Hornet. All right, Agent of Judgment Saturn. Executor of the Underworld. And uh, Majesty Hyperion. Well. We did not get a ghost rare. Uh, probably didn't buy enough display cases or display boxes. I'm gonna give myself a chance, but uh, we did get Deco Talker, Heat Soul, which is still a good pull. Uh, in the end, got a couple Dark Magician, the Dragon Knights. Again, card I like, probably not a chase card. I uh, put aside Ryza, the Mega Monarch, a couple times uh, just because it's a good reprint to the have and at least be aware of. Christron Halkibifrax or Halkibifrax or however you say that. Um, good uh, reprint there as well. Set aside my Dark Magician again. And then Aluber is probably the best of the uh, non-Ghost Rares. So a good pull there in the end. This one's actually in pretty good condition as well, uh, which is always nice to see in the end, uh, especially since Brand and Despia decks are basically taking over everybody right now. Uh, so, uh, probably our best card in the set thus far, and uh, let's make sure we check the back just in case. Good condition overall. That looks to be just some stuff debris. Uh, so, might have to open a few more sets, see if we uh, we get anything here and there, but I appreciate you guys stopping in to see uh, if our luck held out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Please be sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Take care.